Hello guys, how are you? It's raining. I'm coming from school guys. It's uh, 3.37. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really raining. But uh, I just finished my class. It's my first day of uh, the second class. The first class ended. And now this is the second one. <laughs> I didn't even put on a coat. It was sunny. I told you, Kansas weather is unpredictable. So, <laughs> when we came out of class, it's really raining. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just raining and raining and raining. But, um, not worry. I'll drive safely. So, this is Charities Bubble USA, your number one channel. We are going to talk about two questions that people asked me as I drive my way home. Hmm? So let me try and uh, clean up my windshield. And uh, you have to be very careful when it's raining, you know. Because it's really raining and when it rains, oh my gosh. So guys, uh, one person asked me about uh, the importance of a credit card. And the other person asked me about... Um, the email. So I'm gonna talk about those two things because I feel those are important things to talk about. I'm gonna start with the I'm gonna start with the email and then I'm gonna go to the credit card. So this is Charities Bubble USA. One channel. I'm here. Three thousand six hundred and seventy-four subscribers. You guys are awesome. Awesome, 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 you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so um, I really, really do appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly consider subscribing, guys. We are growing, we are growing. And uh, like I said, um, I'm looking forward to this, this Saturday's live show. Uh, and then we're going to talk more about different issues. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly consider subscribing. You are really, really missing out on stuff, so please consider subscribing um, so person asked me about uh, the email I haven't gone to the highway yet <laughs> this is just a side road it's just a side road and uh, so my lights are on so that I can see because uh, when it starts raining over here uh, it just becomes uh, not very clear but not to worry. So let's talk about uh, the email address. And I have talked about the email address several times. I have talked about the email address several times. Look at that grass. That one is starting to become green. But the other one is still not yet there yet. Uh, so the email. Remember when you did your first application. You did your first application. And you put in an email. And I said that email you must know the password. You have a smartphone. Make sure that uh, that email is always open on your phone. Keep on checking it day and night because even after you win the DB lottery, you come and live here in the US, your email will really matter. You always have to check your email. I told you guys that uh, before like I got used to this American life, I never used to look at my emails and I was missing deadlines. So I made it upon myself that I have to look at my email. At least once in a day, I have to look at my emails. So, um, I'm going to make a right turn over here. That road is closed. So, when the road is closed, you don't go there. So, this is a stop sign. And I told you guys, uh, you have to stop. So, you, you have to go. When you stop, you just have to go by turns. Depending on the car that uh, came in, stopped the first, it has to go fast. So, you know, it's like sequence. So, guys... Uh, this side, I don't know if you guys can see uh, very well. I don't know if you are able to see because of the rain. This is a cemetery on there. On my left, it's a cemetery, but I don't know if you're able to see it very well uh, because of uh, it's not very clear. The weather is not very clear. So that email, guys, you send them an email. And then when you have one, when you had one and you checked, hmm? Is that email, the, the initial email, that's what you use. So for your second notification letter, because that person was asking, uh, which email will I use uh, for my second notification letter? 
Now for your second notification letter, the email that you are going to use is the one that you use in the initial application. There is no other one, guys. So please make sure that you're looking at your email because right now people are waiting for the second notification letters. That's the main thing right now. So guys, please keep on looking at your emails. Even if uh, sometimes you don't have uh, um, bundles or whatever, which is understandable because, uh, you know, make sure that uh, may, you can even go to a cyber and just look at your email. Hmm? If you don't have your bundles all the time, go to the cyber, look at your email. It's very, 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 very crucial that you are looking at your email. I'm stopping at the light now. I'm, I'm almost to join the highway here. It looks, it looks a little bit darker there. You know, there's so many clouds out there. So I, I felt like I would talk about that. So that initial email, it doesn't change. Uh, make sure that you're looking at it. Hmm? That's why I told you uh, when you did it, make sure that the passwords are, you know, they are up to date because you do not want to miss it. I told you guys, if you miss it, if you miss uh, those deadlines, you miss the time because when they send you the second notification letter, your visa is available. They have set, scheduled a date for you to go to the embassy. So if you miss that, guys, and then maybe you will be checking your email like three months later, you will find that that time is gone. And I told you guys, you can never miss your visa interview. You can only miss if you have called them to reschedule, because they give you an option to reschedule. But you cannot go and tell them that you did not see your email. That does, it doesn't work like that, guys. So it's very, very, very important for you to be looking at your email. Now, the other thing I'm going to talk about is credit because, uh, and I, I know I had done this video uh, a few months ago, but I'm just going to talk about it um, just like an overview uh, that, uh, you know, uh, here when it's when it's raining, guys, when the weather is extreme, you drive uh, according to the weather. You can, sometimes you are not able to, to drive uh, with the speed limit. You have to drive slower because uh, you are not able to see very clearly. Mm? If you look... At, uh, if you look at, uh, ahead of me, you see all the lights, the, the cars, their lights are on. But still, I can only see just a little bit. So it's very, very important uh, to drive at the pace that you feel that uh, you're comfortable. Another thing when you're driving is that if you're driving slower than the, the, the other speed limit, you drive on the outer lane. You drive on the outer, you stay on the, on the outer lane. Now, right now, I'm staying on the outer lane. You do not stay on the inside lane. The inside lane is for uh, people who are who want to overtake or uh, people, the cars who are driving faster. So uh, it's very, very important to know that. Now, I was talking about credit. Now, credit means that you have a debt somewhere and that debt you are required to pay. Now, here, uh, the debt, uh, you know, um, I know um, and that, uh, I, I don't know if it has evolved. I know uh, things are changing, but uh, uh, when we used to get loans, when I was in Kenya, we would go and they would put the money in the bank for us. And then we would go and withdraw. But here, when you come here, you apply for a credit card. Now that card will be sent to you and uh, you can use that money and then you will be paying that money month monthly every month they set a date for you to be paying or you set a date for yourself uh depending on uh how you get paid now uh, you find that the first credit card that you will get when you come here as a digital lottery person is when you open a bank account they will offer you a credit card they will offer you a credit card mostly it could be 500 dollars uh which is good to take the credit card because you have to build your credit what do I talk about? Build, what is building credit? Building credit means you are given this debt. It's a, it's a loan. And then you use the money and you are able to pay. You are able to pay uh, the, the debt. Mm, you are able to pay the credit. Because we have two types of cards. One is called a debit card. A debit card is your money. It's the money that you are paid when you work. And it goes to your bank. So they will give you a debit card. Now debit means that is your money. Credit means is the money that you have you have borrowed. You can borrow to do something. It's always good uh, when you come here in this country. It's good to have a credit card because you want to build your credit. And why are you building your credit? You're building your credit because you're building your credit because you will want to buy a nice car. You will want to buy a nice home. Hmm? And 
well, unless you have cash, which sometimes is very hard uh, to have cash to buy some stuff. Like for example, if you want to invest in a new car, you find that you will not be able maybe to afford to have $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 in cash, depending on the type of car that you want to buy, especially if you, are, you, know, you want to buy a new one. Because after you stay for a while, you'll be like, let me go and buy a new one, you know. Because, you know, a new one will give you more service, uh, it, it has warranty, and it has all the good things. Of course, your payments will be higher, but still, uh, it, it's okay. Hmm? You want to buy a house. If you want to buy a house, they will look at the debts that you have taken. Are you able to pay them for you to qualify to get that mortgage? So those are some of the things that make someone uh, look for credit. So you have to be wise, guys. When you come here, you, there will be, you know, your mail will be full of people uh, sending companies, sending you stuff, uh, credit cards for you to apply. Make sure that you do not apply all of them because you'll be like, oh, this is free money. But remember, that money has to be paid back. Hmm? And uh, of course, they are very fair. You can get a credit card and uh, maybe, let's, let's assume maybe it's a, a, a credit card of like 2000 or 500 or whatever. They tell you if you pay that money in one year, there is no interest. But if after that one year you, had, you are not able to pay the whole amount, then you will have interest. Another thing is the payment. If you are supposed to make your payments on the 10th and you decide that you will be making your payments on the 12th, or the 15th or the 11th, you find that the, the money incurs penalties. It does incur penalties, and you find that that is what uh, hurts, hurts you. It hurts you because, let's assume, um, like for example, there's another debit card that I had taken, uh, a credit card that I had taken a while ago, and then uh, I was late. I think I was late one day uh, to make a payment, and then when I was late, their charge was $40. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a repo. You know, like, you know, just one day, and I just forgot. I don't know for some reason why I forgot to pay. But then their charge for late fee was $40. I was like, this is so bad. So what I did is that I called them. I made the payment on the next day, but I, I asked for a waiver. I was like, oh my, I really need to ask for a waiver because that's too much. $40, that's a lot of money, but it was fortunate that uh, they were able to give me a waiver after I pay, made my payment. But from that time, I decided, you know, instead of forgetting, I make a automatic payment whereby you give them uh, maybe the number of your debit card or your account number whereby the money will be deducted automatically, which really helps because you are not going to, um, you're not going to uh, be late because you don't want to make late payments. So what I can say or what I can advise someone, it's good to have credit. Uh, your credit would really count on so many things. Even when you're going to rent a house, some people even look at your credit, you know? They look at your credit score. Uh, and even maybe you might want a loan, necessarily not even to buy a house or necessarily not even to buy a car. You might want a loan to do something else, to develop your house, to, you know, all that stuff. They always run your credit. They check. This person, how many debts have, have they had? How, what is their payment? And another thing is that the credit really helps because when you go to a bank to ask for a loan for something, maybe you want to invest on something, they will look at your credit history. So when they when, you, when they put in your social security number, they see all the debts that you have. Every debt, every credit card debt, it's a car loan, it's a mortgage, they see everything. When they see all that, then what happens is that some the banks are not going to give you more because they normally see how much money does this person make. And uh, depending on the debt that they are having, do they qualify to get uh, another loan? Do they qualify uh, to add more debt to what they already have? So it's very, very important uh, for you to like just look at your credit and uh, know this is my limit, this is where I can go, or this is what I can do. You see what I mean? So it's good to have credit, and that's, that's something that you'll get used to, but you have to have a limit and you have to know not to take more that, than you can pay because it will eventually it's gonna hurt you because uh even you find that uh, let's assume like you want to go to school and uh you want to do uh federal aid of course you'll get some grants from the federal government but sometimes some of them are not gonna be enough so you'll be forced to take a student loan that one still counts as credit because it's money that you borrowed 
for you, for your school. It might not be a lot, it might be a lot, depending on how many years you have gone to school. But at the end of the day, uh, you have uh, to be able to account for. And no, uh, you call, if you're not able to make the payments, call them and tell them this is how I'm, I'm able to make the payments. If there's a life change, if you, you, you have lost your job, if you have stopped working, if maybe you are in maternity leave, all that, you have to call them and tell them this is what is going on and uh, I will make my payments. They are very good if you call them in advance uh, because uh, they are able to work with you. Very, very, they work with you. The problem is if you do not call them and uh, you don't pay and it starts becoming a bad debt. When it starts becoming a bad debt, they send it to collection. And the people for collections are not really nice. <laughs> They're not very nice. They call you every time. And uh, if you really don't pay that that uh, money, your credit score goes down because they report you. They report that you have defaulted that debt. And then what will happen is that it will be a bad debt, yes, but it will affect your credit. Let's assume that you are at uh, 750 or maybe you are maybe 770 or 800, whatever. You find that your credit score will can go even as low as 500 or 400 that's not good at all so it's very very important for you if you're thinking of taking a, a credit card make sure that uh, you are taking what you are able to pay look at your income look at your expenses and then know can i manage to pay a credit card for 500 dollars because it's essential it's gonna be very very essential especially uh, when you come here and you want to settle and you want to you know you want to invest in some stuff it's very very I sent you because sometimes I told you guys, and it's it's good to be honest, guys. Like um, most immigrants, not all of them, most of them they live hand to mouth or they live paycheck to paycheck. That means that this paycheck is budgeted for this amount of money, and this paycheck is budgeted for these tasks. So you find that at the end of the day, that person does not have anything to say. Like it's very 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 logic, guys. It's very 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 logic. Um, sometimes you can work very many hours or whatever, which is okay, but you find that if you are at a minimum wage, you are living paycheck to paycheck. So if you're living to paycheck to paycheck, this money, that the credit cards are very, very enticing, you will take the money, and then if you are unable to pay, it's going to come back and hurt you. So it's very, very important for you to know how to be paying your debt. Let's talk about something else like a hospital debt, because uh, you might have a hospital debt, whereby yes, you have insurance, you have medical insurance, but there's something called... Uh, when you go to the hospital, you make your copy, and then the insurance pays some, some amount, and then there is the patient responsibility, the money that you're supposed to pay. After the insurance has paid, it's a little bit of money, a percentage of money, depending on the type of insurance that you're having, hmm? because it depends. And you find that if you're having insurance, the more premium you pay, the more money that you're paying every month towards your insurance, uh, it, it makes your, uh, the, the money that you pay back for your hospital bills, it makes it lower. But if you're paying very low, or you're not paying nothing at all, because the insurances that are like that, you find that uh, when, the, when, the, when the bill comes in, it's going to be high. So you have to look at all that if, 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 when you're looking at your insurance. Now, what I'm talking about is that they will send you a bill from the hospital. Now, the bills from the hospital, you can manage them very, very well. Because what you do, you call them, and when you call them, uh, you tell them to give you a payment plan. They normally give you a payment plan. And even those credit cards, if you are struggling and you're unable to pay, they will give you a payment plan. And then that payment plan, they will tell you, uh, they, will, they will take the amount and they will divide it into a, a specific time. And then after dividing it to a specific time, then they are going to tell you, you will be paying like $50, you'll be paying like $30, you'll be paying like whatever dollars that you're paying. As long as you make the payments every month and you do not default, it's, it's you know it's, it's crucial that you are able to do all that. So I felt like I would talk about that and expound more. I know my my my, my last uh, video I didn't talk about the bills and all that dynamics. So it's very very important. Another thing is that you can have your bills and you're struggling to pay because those things happen. You know they do happen. So if you are struggling to pay something like a uh, like the electricity bill you find that when the conditions are extreme when it is winter it's cold you find that uh, your, your, your electricity is not going to be turned on they cannot turn it on because you have a bill they cannot do that but you know winter is not forever another season is gonna come and then 
they they will turn off your electricity if you have not paid you know they will turn it off so what do you do you find that if you have a big debt what you do is that you call them and they give you like a payment that you will be making they tell you that uh it's a payment plan that you will be making like 200 dollars every month and at this date you have to make that payment and if you continue making those payments even if they give you for a whole year because they give you a minimum of uh the money that you, that you can pay so that touches on your debt and at the same time it touches on your bill the monthly bill because the monthly bill will still come you find that you will you will be at a safe place so uh, the thing uh, that I know and that I have learned in the years that I've lived here in the U.S. is that communication is the key. You have to let them know this is what is going on. And if you keep on letting, letting them know what's going on, even in those credit card debt, uh, they, they will work with you. They are very, very good in working with you. But uh, you find that if you are quiet and then you're like, I don't have money, so I'm going to ignore that debt. I'm not going to pay it. Then that is what hurts you. Because 10 years later, if you want to go and buy a, a house and uh, there was a debt, you will, pay, you will, you will answer why did you didn't pay that debt. Some, some of them will ask you why you are late to make that payment. So it's very, very important to know some of these things, especially those people who have won and they are preparing to come to live in the U.S. It's a wonderful country. It is. And uh, guys, so um, thank you for watching this video. I, I don't want to make it a very long one. Because uh, it's, it's raining and I, I still have to drive like uh, 30 minutes. So I'll see you in another video. Thank you and God bless you.